How's it going guys? It's Kevin and today I want to talk to you guys about my favorite class I took throughout all of my four years at New York University studying computer science and it was a computer science class. It was actually an elective that I took and everything that I took really paled in comparison to this class and I think that was for a few different reasons that we'll go over but this is a class that I took my senior spring that really really stuck with me and I think taught me two things primarily that I want to talk to you guys about today. All right, so winding back the clock a little bit, four years ago, or I guess just over four years ago now, I graduated from New York University having studied computer science. And so in the spring of 2017, I had to take a couple more classes for my CS degree. And one of the classes I had to take had to be an elective in computer science. And so to give you guys even a little bit more background, I sort of skirted around during my four years at NYU. I always studied computer science, but there were definitely times and gaps where I didn't take computer science classes at all. And so a lot of times people are sort of done with their major at this point, and I, I wasn't quite there. And so I needed an elective to take. And so the elective that I had decided to take and I was really interested in taking I took because someone told me to, and I, I, I really am sort of kicking myself because I don't remember who told me at this point in time, but this just goes to show you that sometimes it's really important to hear from people who, you know, were just in your shoes so that you can get really great advice for them because this class really had a big effect on me. And so for me, this class at New York University was called Algorithmic Problem Solving. And so unbeknownst to me, I had no idea sort of the impact that this class was going to have on me, but I decided to sort of enroll in it knowing that it was super hard and really crazy but because you're supposed to learn a lot and it's supposed to be a very different kind of class. And so sounds really intimidating, but effectively all this was, was a competitive programming class. And so this class was actually taught by a Google engineer named John. And so I think he was like an adjunct professor at NYU. And so he'd work at Google NYC during the week. And then I think once, I guess twice a week, cause that's how often we had the class, he would sort of come down to the NYU campus towards Washington Square Park and he would teach us about algorithmic problem solving. So what does that even mean, right? It sounds sort of insane, but basically this was a competitive programming class where we learned about different topics and concepts, problems, algorithms, data structures, and how we can leverage those things to solve complicated problems under a time crunch. And yeah, it was extremely, <laughs> extremely stressful. And yet it was still my favorite class that I ever took throughout all of college. We had two lectures every week. And the first lecture would basically be us going through a data structure and algorithms that revolve around those data structures and why they're important. And so it wasn't too math heavy, which I really appreciated because in previous classes, like my actual other algorithms class, it was extremely math heavy. And it was all about proving a certain runtime complexity using math, which I really did not enjoy. But this was way more hands-on. It was way more creative about how you could solve a problem in different ways using the tools that you had available to you like data structures and algorithms. And so that was the first sort of lecture. It was really about learning. Maybe we'd have that on a Tuesday. And then on a Friday, I think it was a two hour lecture. I wanna say it was a two hour lecture where like Friday would be a workshop. And all Friday was, was a competitive programming competition. And so if you guys think tests are intimidating or tests are stressful, you guys have never been more stressed than this. Every single Friday, you'd come to this class, you'd sit there, you'd open your laptop, you'd click a link and you'd get five random questions that you had to solve all under the time crunch of whatever it was, an hour or an hour and a half. And you had to submit your answers to solve these questions that would then run against test cases that were just in some black box that you don't know what the test cases are. And if you don't think that's hard or stressful enough, there was actually literally a leaderboard that would sit over the entire front row that basically just displayed your username and then what place you were in the, in the class. You know, as if family isn't bad enough, you know, failing a test and finding out after the fact, you could literally see in real time that you were failing. And unfortunately, this was sort of the reality that I went through in a lot of ways. And unfortunately, I was in most cases very much towards the bottom of the leaderboard almost every single Friday. And that was really hard, I think, in a lot of ways, because it was something that I really liked. I really loved the class. I really thought I was learning a lot. But then every single Friday, I felt like I couldn't really apply what I was learning to write the code. And so from taking this class, right, as miserable and as crazy and as horrible as it sounds, I think I really learned two important things. And I think the first thing that I learned was just how important it is to get exposed to the right things as early as possible. And maybe as early as possible is wrong, but I guess at the right time. And so for me, I wish if I could go back, I would try to take computer science classes faster so that I get to my electives faster so that I could have taken this class faster. 
because I think that this class really taught me a lot about interview preparation. And I think that's really what it's, it was geared towards. And it did a really great job to sort of introduce me into how tech interviews work, right? You have to know data structures, you have to know algorithms. And at the end of the day, an interview is about 45 minutes long, maybe an hour. And you sort of just need to solve the question or two that they give you, right? So you know, when you put them side by side, they make a lot of sense together. So for me, I wish I really could have been exposed to that earlier. And I don't know if it was, it's always hard to tell in retrospect. I don't know if this was because I wasn't aware enough. I don't know if it's because I didn't spend enough time researching careers and what I wanted to do after college, or if it was really just the fact that like, I didn't know enough CS majors at NYU or the people that I hung out with weren't in as much CS classes as I was. So I don't really know where I sort of fell short there, but I really think that having certain conversations with people earlier on in your career, or maybe not, it's not even your career, just life in general can really change how you view things or, or what you decide to do or a goal that you decide to set and chase. And I think that that's something that I really took away from this, which is that getting exposed to things earlier is great. And, you know, I guess you could, maybe not for everything, but I do think that there are certain scenarios and things in life when I look back that I just wish I knew earlier. And I think that this is one of them. I think if I could have taken this class, that would have been really, really helpful for me. The second thing that I realized, and this is more pertaining to software engineering in particular, but that's that knowing how to do something and being able to do that thing are totally different. And I think I learned that from this class because during the Tuesday lectures, I knew a lot of the things. I knew a lot of the algorithms. I knew a lot of the data structures. I knew a lot of how I could theoretically use the algorithms and data structures in Java code or whatever language to solve that problem. But when it came to actually sitting there every single Friday for an hour and a half or two hours and typing faster than everyone and getting to a working solution, I was very bad at that. And I think that it made me realize how important it is not just to be able to do one of those things, right? You can't just be able to be the person who can raise their hand and answer the question, whether it's in software engineering or not. You also need to be able to walk the walk, right? You can't just say, here's the answer. Now someone go do it, right? Ideally, you want to be the person who can raise their hand and say, this is how we're going to solve this problem. And now I'm going to go do that, or we're going to go do that. And so I think those are two really big things that I learned from this class. And it's always stuck with me. It just goes to show you too, like I got a C in that class. And I've talked about this in the past on my channel, but like computer science is not something that came easily to me. It's something that I really struggled through, especially during my, my undergraduate career. And I think ironically, or most people would think ironically, you know, because I got a C, I didn't learn that much. But I think I really learned the most in this class, maybe out of all the classes I took in college. And so I think it's important to put that in perspective. Like I got a C in this class, and yet I'm still here talking about it four years later. I'm still here thinking about the class, the lectures that I had, the teacher that I had, the things that I did, and how it was such a great thing that I went through, even though I didn't do well in it on paper. So that was sort of the best class that I ever took throughout all of college. Again, it was called algorithmic problem solving. And I think the two things that I learned from it were getting exposed to things earlier in the right quantities and the right scenarios when applied to the right topics is really important. And so if you guys can do that now, like if you're a freshman in college and you're studying computer science or you're learning the code right now, just reach out to someone who you know and ask them what's something that they would have done when they were at your point in life to expedite your progress. And I think if I could have done that when I was more junior in college, right, or a freshman, I think I I really would have been able to expedite my progress even more. And it's not the end of the world if you know, you're know you on a little bit slower of a path, like you don't have to race everywhere. But if you could save some time, that's really great. So try and talk to your friends, try and talk to your network and try and get answers as soon as possible for things that you're interested in. And then the next thing was just that knowing how to talk to talk and walk the walk are totally different. Knowing how to solve a problem and actually being able to take that problem and solve it in something like code are two totally different things and both of which are extremely, extremely important. And ideally you can do both of them. And so for me, this sort of goes back into project-based learning and actually applying what you read in the textbook than just reading it and then being able to regurgitate it on a test or circle C in a multiple choice test, right? So I think you guys should really try and take what you learn and apply it as soon as possible because otherwise you're probably just gonna be able to talk to talk. All right, guys, so those are the two things that I took away from the most interesting class that I took in New York University, again, which was algorithmic problem solving. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and leave the video a like and subscribe to the channel for more. I'll see you guys next time.